The fallout from Monday's Senate parliamentary group meeting chaired by President Uhuru Kenyatta is turning out to be a survival issue in the Jubilee camp after party chairman Nelson Zuya and Irungo Kangata. The new majority chief whip in the Senate wrote to five party-nominated senators accused of violating the party's code of conduct by ignoring summons by the party leader to show cause why they should not be expelled from the party. The five nominated senators are Millicent Omanga, a vocal Ruta supporter, Senators Falhada Imandeko, Victor Prengay, Naomi Jilo, and Mary Yeni. They should know that we have a constitution, a Jubilee constitution, and we signed a code of conduct. Apart from them losing the positions that they might be holding, they should also know that there are other disciplinary measures that can be taken against them, which of course includes and not limiting to even expulsion. The five are accused of acting in a manner disloyal to the party, advancing party positions inside and outside the Senate, contrary to the position of the party, failure to carry out directives and instructions of the party as directed by party officials and organs. Also in the list of accusations is demonstrating lack of respect to the decisions and organs of the party, declining and refusing without reasonable cause to attend the party's Senate parliamentary group meeting called by the party leader and openly opposing decisions of the PG. The party is premising its decisions on Article 17, Sections 2 and 3 of the party constitution, which states, a member of the National Assembly or Senate shall not without justification oppose party positions and policy in Parliament, provided a member shall not be construed to have opposed a party position where the same was not communicated in writing. A member of the National Assembly or Senate who opposes party positions without any reasonable justification shall be liable to having the whip removed and disciplinary action. And we are not going to allow any person who is in Jubilee to insult the party leader. It is not going to be allowed because even our constitution is very, very clear. So the cue has been taken. We have done it in the Senate. I can assure you it's coming to the National Assembly. It's a matter of time. And it will also cascade down to even counties. Party majority whip in the National Assembly and Mumia's East MP Benjamin Washeli, a key ally of Deputy President William Ruto, admits he is among the targeted leaders in the National Assembly alongside his deputy Cecil Limbarire and House Majority Leader Aidan Duale as Kenyatta's purge moves to the National Assembly and the counties. Yeye atuonyeshe mahali penye sisi viongozi wa bunge tumemlet down. Tumefanya manene ya budget yote vile ametaka tumefanya. Manene yote vile alitaka wenye kiti wa, wa committees tumefanya. Na Business ya serikali katika bunge, hakuna motion ama bill tumemlet down. Tunajua yeye anenda kuretire 2022. Na sisi wale wanaonekana kama ni watu wabaya, ni wale wanataka jubilee beyond 2022. In the wake of the ongoing realignments in the two houses, Kenyatta's allies have dared Deputy President William Ruto to quit government. Apul Kamau, K24 Evening Edition.